Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, wonderful to see you all. And this is a special day, isn't it? Because it's our day of reflection on COVID-19, our national day of reflection. And thinking back last year, you know, we as a society were watching this virus, you know, starting in China and then coming gradually spreading, coming to England and the numbers are increasing numbers of infections and so on. We decided, you know, to, to close early before the government came to any decision. So we, in fact, closed down quite a bit earlier. Um, but I think all of us have been affected in one way or another, haven't we, by, by this, uh, this pandemic. You know, some of us have lost family members. I certainly have. Um, we've lost friends. You know, we've been disturbed in all sorts of different ways. I was to, uh, talking to um, monks at Amaravati, and they were saying, you know, it must be very difficult for people who are not familiar with their own minds, suddenly having to be isolated and having to, having to be confronted with what's actually going on inside them without any distraction and without any, without any tools to deal with it, without any uh, real instruction about how do you work with your feelings, your mind and your thoughts. So for many people, it's been a wake up call and we can look at it in different ways. And I tend to think of it as a, is an excellent opportunity for us really to think about the fragility of life, the preciousness of life, and the Buddha's teaching. But I'm not going to take up any more time because we have with us a very special guest, Venerable Sila Wimala, and he's just come from a very long meeting with the Interfaith Network. And it started this morning and it went all the way through until, until just a few minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> At least that we said he's not running through the on the underground having to get here for this meeting. <laughs> Just being able to get online. So thank you very much, Benty, for coming along and and helping us and, and and making this a little this little ceremony for us to think about about everything that's happened in the last year. So thank you so much. Thank you very much uh, for for the kind words appreciate as you said uh, since morning until 4 30 we had the agm of interfaith network now i am going to start this service uh, as i have been asked to give a little short reflection i'm happy to start with this uh, short reflection Today is the first anniversary of the start of lockdown in the UK. It is therefore important for us to remember all the victims and families affected by this pandemic, not just in the UK, but worldwide. No country is left untouched by this life-threatening virus. However, there are signs of hope with the vaccination program going reasonably well, thanks to all the scientists, NHS workers, volunteers, and many other who have selflessly supported society uh, through this awful year. I ask myself, what can we collectively do to help people affected by their trauma of loss? I believe that through meditation, prayer and chanting, we become more thoughtful and reflective on the suffering of others, enabling us to bring some comfort to those who are bereaved or troubled in some way by the present situation. Many families member, many family members, husbands, wives, children, grandchildren are feeling the unbearable pain of the premature loss uh, of a loss of a loved one. With the show of collective compassion and love, much suffering can be alleviated. Small gestures can make a big difference listening with compassion, sitting beside someone, being there, sharing their sorrow, providing emotional support, all can bring great comfort 
lift their spirits uh, and <clears throat> uh, uh, dilute uh, some of the suffering. It is the small intangible events in life that add up to make a huge difference. We can see that despite the tragedy, the pandemic has brought out many of the finest human qualities in people looking out for neighbors, friends, family, and those less able to look after themselves. People have rediscovered in, this, in themselves genuine heartfelt qualities. The immense satisfaction gained from caring for others instead of being self-centered. People have had time to reflect and meditate and become spiritually aware, discovering the selfless, fine inner qualities such as compassion, loving kindness, uh, the, uh, like that uh, we make us human. Despite the loss of life, many valuable lessons have been learned in the past year. So this is a time for reflection, contemplation, and mindfulness to create for the future a caring, sharing society, all working together towards the greater good. Our selfishness has turned more to selflessness, yet even though we are coming to what is hopefully the end of the pandemic, many people's mental health has been greatly affected for various reasons such as job losers, business failure, family breakdown, and many other issues. Depression and mental health issues is now a huge problem. Therefore, mindfulness and meditation are even more important to bring comfort to those affected. The desire for uh, cooperation and collective sharing of knowledge and resources in becoming more evident now. So whatever we can do in our small way through working together for the greater good is even more vital now. Let us therefore, in our small way, continue to do our very best for all, all those in need that uh, we can reflect upon whatever um, the situation. Although I would like to read uh, two or three poems which I have composed. Although you are not in physical form today, you live you live on uh, with love in our hearts. Thoughts of you make flowers bloom every day as angel angels come to visit us. While the sun rises and sets every day, fond memories of you come to mind. Always with a radiant smiling face, bring sparkling eyes, in darkness, candlelight glows on your picture. As brothers and sisters love each other, we hold you, you close in our human family. A victim of corona, so much harder to bear your departure. We miss you being near. In a dream, I see your smiling face in the blue sky with moonlight and twinkling stars. You are waving uh, to say goodbye. Remain in peace, my dear. These are some poems which I have written, available in the <clears throat> St. Paul's Cathedral um, program. Well, <clears throat> I am going to now read the <clears throat> Metta Sutta, the discourse on loving kindness. One who is skilled in the good and who wishes to attain that state of calm, Ibana Shuddha thus. 
one should be sincere to oneself, upright and conscientious, of so speech, gentle and not proud, contented, living simply, peaceful and unburdened, the senses calm, prudent, modest and without showing anxiety for sport. One should not commit any slight wrong on account of which wise men might censure one. May all beings be happy and secure. May their hearts be wholesome. Whatever living beings there be, those mentally feeble or strong, physically long, stout or medium, short, small or large, those seen or unseen, dwelling far or near, those who are born and those who are to be born. May all beings, without exception, be happy-minded. Let none deceive another, nor despise any person whatsoever in any place. In anger or ill will, let one not wish any harm to another. Just as a mother would protect her only child at the risk of her own life, even so, let one cultivate the boundless hearts towards all beings. Let thoughts of infinite love pervade the whole world, above, below and around, without any obstruction, without any hatred, without any enmity. Whether standing, walking, sitting or lying down, as long as one is awake, this mindfulness should be developed. This, the wise say, is the highest conduct here. Not embracing false views, virtuous and endowed with insight, giving up attachments to his desires. Indeed, such a person does not come again or repeated become. Now I am going to do some chanting, wishing well-being and uh, happiness of uh, all the victims. May they be free from suffering. May the families, those who have lost their loved one, get the blessings of this chanting and practice of metta bhavana, meditation on loving kindness. May they be free from sorrow, May they be free from suffering. May they be well. May they have good comfort in their mind. With these thoughts, I am going to do chanting now. Salina Yantang Santang Padang Abisamecha Sako Juche So Juche Suacho Chas Mudu Anatimani Santos Coche Subaroche Apaki Choche Salaukevuti Santindri ocha nipa kocha Appa gabbo kule suan nugedo Nacha kutan samachare kinchi Jena vinyo pare upavadeyum Sukhino vake mino hontu Sabbi Satta Bhavantu Sukhitatta Yeke Chipan Bhutati Tasavata Vravana Vasesa Digava Imantava Majimaras Kanukatula Dittava Yeva Ditta Ye chadure vasanti avidure Bhutava sambhavesiva 
ஆயுசா ஏக புத்த மனுரக்கே ஏவம் பிசபூத்தேசு மனசங் பாவையே அபரிமான மேத்தோக்கஸ்மிங் மனசங் பாவையே அபரிமான உத்தங்கோச்சிரியாஞ்ச அசம்பாதங் அவேரங் அசபத்தம் தீட்டாஞ்சராஜிதோ Let us do Metta Bhavana for a few minutes. Meditation on the this course which we have recited and listen to the reading we do metta bhavana gently close your eyes and place your hands on your lap and relax your body relax your forehead eyebrows eyelids jaw lips and tongue neck and shoulders chest and abdomen relax your hands arms fists and fingers Take a deep breath with the sense of trust and well-being. And let it go, letting go of tension. One more deep breath. And slowly let it go, letting go of tension. and it tightness to dissolve in this afternoon you are doing a great human quality of loving kindness within yourself this is one of the divine qualities wishing well-being and happiness of all beings in the world today is suffering so much due to this pandemic may the world become free from this pandemic deadly corona virus may the people who have been victimized may they rest in peace attain peace of nibbana attain moksha may the families those who have lost their loved one be free from suffering may they have comfort in mind may they have peace in mind may the world be free from disease may they be well happy and peaceful 
may no harm come to them may no difficulties come to them may no problems come to them may they have good health peace of mind and protection from all the dangers we continue with these thoughts radiating loving kindness towards the entire world may the world be free from this deadly corona virus may the people get the blessings of all the religions may they have good spirits in their heart filled with love compassion
that's fine. Thank you so much, Bente. It's so lovely to be able to share this little moments of silence with you and with everyone else. It is amazing that although we're online, there's somehow that the feeling of togetherness still sort of pervades through the ether, with mysterious. But thank you so much for sharing this, you know, few moments with us. It makes all the difference. Thank you. I will and wish you all being very careful, you know, and uh, be happy and enjoy every minute of this precious life. <laughs>